Hi, everyone. So today, um, I'm going to show you something that my friends have been asking for a long time. They're saying, Jody, can you please share your grandmother's matzo ball recipe with us? So today, I'm going to make them. So I thought I'll just show you how I do it so you can do it too. It's so easy. So we're going to start off with four eggs. So we always have to check our eggs to make sure they're kosher. So I'll show you how we do that. All right, so to know if an egg is kosher or not, you have to make sure there's no blood in it, okay? So like, you always look, okay, great. I've only found blood like one time, so thank God. Here we go. Okay, so once we have our four eggs, the next ingredient is a third cup of oil. So I just use one measuring cup, nice and easy. So one third, okay, poured in a little extra. One third, okay, perfect. So I just pour that in, let me just show you my beautiful eggs, amazing. And then what I do is I just add a little bit of fresh ground pepper and then some kosher salt. That much. All right, and then I just mix it. And see. Okay, great. Now we're ready to add the matzo meal. So I love this brand. And we're going to use one cup. So I'm grabbing one cup. Okay, so now we're gonna add one cup of matzo meal. Okay, don't be shy. And then a little trick, not everyone does this, but I like my matzo balls a little bit softer. So not like rocks, like my mom likes them. But so what I do is add a tiny bit of water. It's about a tablespoon. And then we mix it all up. And then the next thing we do, we have to put this in the fridge for 30 minutes. So I cover it with some um, saran wrap, put it in the fridge for half an hour. And then I go back, boil a pot of water, then I'll make the matzo balls, I'll roll them up. Um, once the water is boiling, so I like to make them around that big because they grow a lot. So just be mindful when you're making them and they boil for 20 minutes and then they're ready. So this recipe is probably going to make you at least 10 matzo balls. And uh, there you have it, my boobies matzo ball recipe. Enjoy. Hi, everyone. So the matzo balls are coming out of the fridge, and I wanted to show you how I make them and the size and everything. So here we go. I wet my hands first. It's a good tip to help you uh, make really nice round matzo balls. So I do them about that size. Remember, they grow. And I'm putting them into the boiling water. You can make them smaller or bigger, whatever you prefer. Sometimes I like to change it up. Do a little one. So I'm just gonna put those on. They are going to boil for 20 minutes and then they'll be ready. We'll be right back. Hi, everyone. It's 20 minutes later and our matzo balls are ready. I'm so excited to show you how they turned out. Not bad. Pretty easy. And I hope you enjoy when you make your own. And I just wanted to wish everyone a Shabbat Shalom. Thank you all for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.